What's up guys, it's Luke here for TechRespect.com with another Photoshop tutorial and today we'll be looking at changing color of the car. You can change the color of uh, pretty much anything but it works really nice with the car so I'll be using that as an example. Um, I pulled this picture of the internet of this Ford and uh, what what the main thing is to to do here is to change the color of the chassis okay so first we have to make the selection and then we can adjust the levels I mean the hue and saturation um, and that will we'll do it in here with the adjustment uh, either here or the adjustment layers down here so first I want to show you a couple couple uh, there's a couple different ways to do this and I want to show you the more um, the simpler ones uh, at first and then we'll go into more complex um, as the video builds up and stuff so uh, just the, the probably the easiest way to do this is if you go to image adjustment and hue saturation you can also use the shortcut control U or command U on max and then you would click on whatever the most dominant color in the picture is so in this case we'll go with green then you hold your shift key and start adding the values of this color here okay just a uh, couple clicks here just to add the values and you can see here that the Photoshop actually tells you the range of the colors that it picked out and now it will change only those colors but now watch what happens Say I wanted to change this to red or violet or whatever purple, but the problem is, as you can see, that it's changing everything because the car background is green as well, and that's just gonna change the whole picture. So let me pull that back. This would be really good with, say, you have a red car and you just want to change that color, and you have that car isolated on a white background, like a show car or something like that. Uh, this is the way to do this for that but if you have a background that has a similar colors that the car chassis is then this is not gonna work it could work and I'm gonna show you how to how to how to how to make it work if you were to select just the selection here and I'm gonna do it with a quick selection tool and I'm gonna do it really quick I'm just holding up this tool here and adding what I what I want and it kinda just picks out on its own but see here I went too far so I'm gonna hold my alt button and that will subtract the selection okay and then I'm gonna add some more here and I don't want the windshield because that's just uh, the, we don't want to change the color of that okay I'm just doing this really quick just to show you guys say I have my selection and say this was perfect I don't want the wheel here um, and now I can go to hue and saturation once again and now I can change the actual color just the color of the car okay um, now I would have to actually subtract the headlights and the, the grill here too but this was just an example so I'm gonna cancel that um, and I'm gonna control D to uh, clear my selection okay and now whoops there's another way to make the selection more more accurate if you don't like the quick selection tool you can also do it with magnetic lasso tool if you're good with that just hold keep holding it I'll kinda just stick to the edge um, you don't even have to go right next to it but see this is kind of a mess up okay so say I had that and you know this was my car and it was a very nice selection so I'm gonna hold this and now I can also go to uh, again go to hue saturation and change my colors but this is actually changing the original image okay so you never want to mess with that you always want to make backups and uh, adjustment layers and just uh, duplicates because you don't want to mess around with your original file so in this case I would go down here and bring up this is an adjustment layer and do it through here hue saturation and here it is and now we'll just change the area that I had selected with the magnetic lasso tool okay and that that's just changing right here that's an adjustment layer so I can turn it on and off see so I still preserve the uh, original file so I'm gonna throw this out and I'm gonna tell you how I would actually do it if you know somebody came up to me and said I want this color uh, a different uh, I want this car a different color so first what I would do is I would path out 
everything that needs to be changed I would actually make a path around the whole car and then subtract the uh, windshields the mirrors the headlights the wheels anything that I don't want changed and then I would go from there so I'm gonna show you guys quickly how to make a path you would go to, up down here where you have your layers channels and paths this is the default what Photoshop will tell you you can also drag them out and stuff okay so I'm gonna keep them back here and uh, switch to the paths go to my path tool uh, I mean pen tool I'm sorry pen tool which is P on deep by default on the key command it's down here okay pen tool and I'm gonna, I'm gonna see here. I'm gonna zoom in on this and now just start drawing out my path right around this car okay now I'm gonna tell you something about the paths um, for some people it might take a little while to get used to it um, for me it took a little while too you know it takes some practice uh, it's not like natural for some people it might come natural I'm not sure but this is probably the best and most accurate way to do it now as you can see here I messed up a little bit now I want to get down here but this path is like curving up and stuff so I can actually hold my alt key and click on the point here and that way I cut the path in half and now I can go around it there's one more thing I need to tell you about this path okay and I'm gonna cut here if, if you have a short cor um, sharp corner just hold alt key and you get this icon right here okay and that way you can cut the path and now you can go anywhere with it okay now if I didn't cut it it would do this you see what I mean okay just needs a lot of practice well not a lot just a bit of practice and then you'll get this pathing done and it's very good tool okay a lot of people underestimate this that they don't use it at all and they don't even know about it but pathing is amazing uh, once you get it to, to work right now one more very important thing that I'm gonna say here is the less points you have on your path the better okay so if you want to if you were going and doing this that's not good okay because then your path is not straight and there's many points and you know the more points the more problems you're gonna get so you want to have the, the least amount of points I mean obviously some places you might have to do a lot of points but you don't want to have a lot just uh, try to see if you can do it with the least amount of points just like this okay and this takes some time like I said this take, takes some time to get used to but um, once you get this done I'm actually gonna pause this video and just skip over I'm gonna path out this whole car because I'm not gonna do it right now and I'm gonna come back when that's done okay all right everyone my path is nearly done um, I just wanted to point out a couple things that I think I forgot to explain um, in the when I was first showing the paths um, like I said the, the less points you have the better and I actually didn't really do a really good uh, demonstration of that so I left out this mask here for the grill here the frontal grill uh, I still need to path that out but I also forgot to let you know about this tool right here um, if you click plus you will add to the path and if you click minus you will subtract from the path so to, sh to show you my path I made a path around the whole outside of the car and I uh, included the mirrors okay both of them and I excluded the windows and now I have the last thing is the mask here the grill now what I will do is actually click minus to subtract from my path because I don't want the mask in there I'll start right here and I will make this whole upper part in one big path and just watch and now if you mess up say say you did this and you release your mouse button and now you're like oh what do I do okay I needed to zoom out just to see more you can hold your uh, control or command key and click these points and they will adjust how the path works or you can click this main point that's where the the, the, the line goes as well so I just want to go from here to here and uh, I'm just gonna adjust here okay 
so this might not work so I'm gonna do it closer to my beginning point and as you can see this is getting better okay just a little bit more adjustments I'm gonna have to move this one as well now adjust it like this okay just holding control and playing with it okay just playing with it that's the main part part and now I want to make uh, go down here to reconnect on the path you just click on the the point and now see what it's doing right now because it has this this line in here and it tell it I basically told it to go left but I want to go down and it still wants to go more left so I'm gonna hold my alt key and cut this in half and now I'm gonna hold and drag and make that uh, make this shape right here to go around the, the edge for some reason I'm still okay there we go just go around here same thing in here so I'm gonna cut this cut this and now connect okay so that's not a perfect path obviously but it was kinda of just a quick showing of how how you can subtract and add to your path um, as soon as you're done with the actual path make sure that you rename it here okay it'll be called work path and if it's work path and then you go ahead and start another path somewhere else and you forget about the first one you forget to rename it that first one will get deleted so make sure you, the first thing you do after you're done with your pathing is that you rename, rename it okay just name it whatever one two three is fine if I was to hold control and click this this is the selection so now we can actually go to our layers add an adjustment layer hue and saturation and it will just change the path okay the nice thing about hue, hue and saturation changing uh, is that it will preserve all the reflections on the car and all the different shades of the color on the car because if you were to just take a brush well you can do this if you're good um, but I'm not really good at this so and I plus I'm working with a mouse so I'm not uh, I don't have a uh, tablet right now and so this is kind of uh, kind of bad with the brushing and stuff but if I was to just draw this car and let's see here I need to be on the main layer and just do it like this see this would obviously be really really bad because there's no reflection in it. <laughs> so this looks really uh, really horrible so that's why the hue and saturation is really good and you can change the colors and then uh, since you have the path now you can add a uh, image on the car you know on the hood you can say you put a, an image of it and we would actually use the vanishing point for that um, I might do a tutorial on that later on uh, for like the next tutorial I might do the vanishing point uh, that basically puts the picture in perspective re, uh, relative to the to the object that you're putting it on but that's uh, that's basically what this is about um, that's what I wanted to show you guys I, I hope you like it uh, Please leave comments and uh, subscribe here. Uh, make sure to go to, to check it out on techperspect.com and uh, you know leave some comments and uh, suggestions for the next tutorials. All right. So this is Luke signing out for Tech Perspect, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.